Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Thursday Thoughts with Anthony. I'm Anthony from Stein Financial Group, and we are continuing our series, The ABCs of Finance, which this week, we're getting towards the end of the alphabet, is U for unemployment, which is sort of a, a dour term for a children's book to cover. But let's talk a little bit about unemployment because there's a few interesting things. First off, if you didn't know, the current unemployment rate as of August 2023 is 3.8%. You might be surprised that that number is that low, and I would say you're not alone in being surprised by that. Basically, after the COVID spike in unemployment because of people getting furloughed and all the various disruptions that took place, unemployment has gone right back to where it was prior to COVID. Really, what that means is a 50-year low or very close to it. In fact, the last time prior to 2018, which is when we finally crossed the 4% unemployment threshold and got below that, is that we that we were below 4%. So the last time before 2018 was the year 2000, where for one month in September, it went to 3.9% and then went back over 4%. And before that, the most recent time, 1970. January of 1970. So we are genuinely talking about 50-year lows in the range of unemployment that we're experiencing right now. You wouldn't necessarily hear that on the evening news, but it is the case. Now, it is important to remember that unemployment is one of the things that the Federal Reserve is looking at when they're changing interest rates. And it's also important to remember that unemployment only tracks the amount of people who are actively looking for a job. Those are a couple things that a lot of people don't understand about unemployment. Where do we see it going from here? It would be hard for me to believe that unemployment is going to get that much lower. It, it would be almost unprecedented for it to get that much lower. But given how strong our job market is, even though you're hearing about layoffs, and I'm not under uh, underselling those, those are real. Even with those layoffs, our economy still has jobs available for people. So unemployment is low, and I expect it to stay low, at least for the near future.